In this video, I have three examples of some different application ideas that can be used in relation with logs. So we have first um, dealing with the pH of a solution. So we use this equation here that says the pH is equal to the negative log of your concentration. We have how to calculate the Richter scale. So yes, here you are going to look at how we actually um, could calculate the Richter scale number for earthquake intensities. And then we have the decibel scale and how sound intensity is calculated or worked with. So first and foremost, you have to be able to identify, based on the context of your problem, which formula you're going to be using. So in this first one, we have that a certain brand of tomato juice has a concentration of 3.16 times 10 to the negative 6 moles per liter. Your question is to find the pH. So we have to use our pH equation, which is the negative log of your concentration. So in this one, it really does come down to just simply plugging in your information. So we're going to take the negative log of 3.16 times 10 to the negative 6 moles per liter and this is going to give you a pH of 5.5. Now when we're dealing with pHs, pH is generally always rounded to the nearest tenth. So when you're looking at the decimal answer in your calculator, keep that in mind that you want to round to the nearest tenth unless told otherwise. In this next one, we have that a 1994 Northridge, California earthquake measured 6.7 on the Richter scale. What was the intensity relative to a zero level earthquake? So when we have a zero level earthquake, that essentially is going to give you an initial intensity of 1. And so here we're going to use the equation that R or Richter scale is equal to the log of the intensity over the initial. So in this case, our Richter scale was 6.7. So we have 6.7 is equal to the log of my intensity over 1, because that's my zero level earthquake. So I have to actually solve for this. And so the first thing that you would do is do 10 to the 6.7. That's going to allow us to use the rule that says we've got our bases raised and so we can go ahead and solve. So essentially this piece right here is going to undo each other. So what we'll end up finding is that our intensity is going to be 10 to the 6.7. And so in this case, that ends up being 5011872.34. So essentially it is 5 million times stronger. Now the last one is dealing with the intensity of um, a cat's purring. And that's measured to be 2.19 times 10 to the negative 11. Given that the initial intensity is 10 to the negative 12, what is the decibel level, level of the noise? So here we are using 10 times the log of your intensity over the initial. So here to find my decibel, we have 10 to the log of 2.19 times 10 to the negative 11 over 10 to the negative 12. So here we're going to end up with your decibels being 13.404 decibels. And so those are three examples on some different applications that you can see when working with logarithmic functions. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this super short video, and I'll see you next time.